What's up, people? Video Game XD, and we are back with another video. So, we went to a crap ton of places. We went to <laughs> Dollar Tree, we went to Disc Replay, we went to Walmart, we might even gone to some other places. Um, it's been a, I don't know, it's been a minute since we made a video. Yeah. I think been... at least a week or something. Yeah. So, I mean, mine's kind of a huge load, huge load edition. She <laughs> just picked up a few items. Um, we've been kind of broke lately, so... <laughs> Uh, but we picked up some cool stuff. Don't worry, you guys. Like, we picked up some cool items. So we're going to go with hers first. She doesn't have that many items. Then I'm, we're going to go to me. All right. Well, the first one I got is called Look Away. Looks can be deadly. Um, this one I got a Dollar Tree for a buck. Don't know what it was about, but haven't seen it. And it's Halloween time, so I figure why not pick it up. That looks creepy on that back there. So You got that at Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree for a buck. One dollar. Good buck. So I was like, can't pass it up. Uh, next one I got is called The Cabin. Fear has found a home. So this one is also a Dollar Tree for a buck. That looks interesting. I like cabin movies. Yeah, I do too. It just looks kind of creepy and cabins, interesting. So. Cabins are very creepy. Like in the woods, you're, you know, you're alone kind of thing. Yeah, so I figured why not try it out. Maybe it would be pretty good. I picked up quite a few uh, movies from the Dollar Tree, and I thought, man, these are going to be crappy. They're just a dollar. But we've actually watched quite a few, and we actually enjoyed almost all yeah, of them. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Like... So I was like, why not try it out? Uh, this next one I got is called Dead Voices. So, yeah, I thought this was kind of interesting as well. Also from Dollar Tree for a buck. I'll tell you one thing. Dollar Tree, 80% of their collection is horror stuff there. I yeah, know. they got quite a bit of horror stuff, they, which is surprising. They're down with the horror movies there. So yeah, that just looks really sinister. The, the chick in the back, the eyes, it just looks really creepy. So I'm like, I gotta have it. <laughs> gotta have it. Well, and it is October now. Halloween is coming. It is coming. October, and it's my birthday month. So. Anybody coming to our <laughs> Halloween party, we're having a Halloween party. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Like, is Big C going to be there? <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, last one I got is probably my favorite favorite find. I um, used to watch this when I was a kid. Growing up, he didn't even know what the hell they really were at first. And I like, know what the critters were. You know what they I were? I just never watched them fully. Oh, okay. But we've been watching them. I like them. We watched the first three of them. There's four movies in this collection. It's called Critters. Look at the cover. Or film collection. Walmart's got a great Halloween selection right This now. is really cool. I mean, it actually even has like a texture to it. It's really, really neat. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. And they're orange, so it's just, you know, fitting for Halloween. But yeah, it's got all four on there, guys. So I'm like, hell yeah. So we have actually already watched the first three. We still have to watch the last I'll one. I'll tell you this. The first one is, for the 80s, it's pretty kind of scary. But it's kind of like family friendly, but scary-ish. Yeah. Part two is freaking hilarious. It's like so it's funny. literally like a freaking Easter movie, <laughs> but it's I I haven't laughed that hard in a, in a while. Yeah, it like, was pretty. Funny. I was laughing, <laughs> but it is violent. There's some crazy stuff going on. Yeah, There's look even at, look at those teeth on those sons of bitches. Like they're not nothing to fucking mess mess around with. There's even nudity <laughs> in the second movie. There's titties and like yeah. Whoa. I was like, what the hell? Okay. What? <laughs> Thirteen. I'm like, this is okay. Eight bucks, I think, at Walmart. Yeah. Not only was there titties in it, but it was like a porn star or something mm -hmm. like that. The Halloween selection right now at Walmart is kicking, so check yeah. out Walmart. Yeah. At least our Walmart. Yeah. All right. Um, for one dollar, from the star of Jackass, Johnny Knoxville presents Action Points. I actually never saw this till we watched it last night. Was it last night we watched this? Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was very comical. There was, you know, drama. There was all kinds of good stuff in it, so. Yeah, I seen it in a theater in 2018. I have a lot of horrible memories of that night, because this was around the time I was dealing with a lot of mental stuff going on, and I barely remember the movie. That's how messed up my mind was during that time, because a lot of stuff was going on. You know, it sucked. But I had to rebuy it. I'm like, a dollar? Are you kidding me? Yeah, for a Blu-ray, even. And I'm like... At Dollar Tree. I was a Jackass fan, still am. Uh, Jackass 4 was supposed to come out this month, but they delayed it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, whatever, I rewatched Action Point. I liked it. The only thing this was lacking was it's missing a lot of the original Jackass members. That's the problem with this movie. <clears throat> if it would have had Steve-O, Bam Margera, you know, more of the stars from Jackass, I'm pretty sure it would have did 
better in the theater. Yeah. But since it did not, it only had Chris Pontius and Johnny. It, I heard it did horrible. Like, it did really bad. Uh, but it's actually not a bad movie. If you're into Jackass, you'll enjoy it. Like, yeah. There's some funny moments. Even if you're not into Jackass, I think you'd enjoy it. I thought it was mm-hmm. good. It, there's definitely a lot of funny moments. Um, for one dollar, this is different. I usually don't pick these up. Star Trek First Contact. So this is a part of the Next Generation series. As a kid, I'd, I'd always see it on TV, you know. Oh, Star Trek. I didn't never like Star Trek. I thought it was boring. I used to watch quite a bit of Star Trek back in the day, but that was because my dad would always watch it. It wasn't something that I wanted to yeah, watch. Yeah, my dad liked it. That's their era, you yeah. know, Star, Star Wars, Star Trek. I mean, maybe... Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> maybe now I could get into it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I might like it now as an adult. But this was my era of Star Trek, so... I do have Nemesis... Which is like the one after this one, so I'm missing like two of them. But I think there's like four Star Trek movies of this era. For one dollar, I'm not gonna complain. I'm Blu-ray. I'm Blu-ray. Yeah, they, they have Blu-rays at Dollar Tree. <laughs> Back in the day, they never used to have no damn Blu-rays right. at Dollar Tree. <laughs> like, whoa, times are changing. Uh, for one dollar, Vanishing on Seventh Street uh, with John Leguizamo, whatever, from Mario Brothers, you know, uh, Luigi. So, I don't know nothing about this movie. It was only a dollar. It looks like some kind of horror action type movie where they're stranded or something. In the streets of Detroit. Um, John Leguizamo, I think. Is yeah. It. I just, I always think of him as Luigi from Mario Brothers. Yeah, me too. Most people don't, but I do. <laughs> in a lot of movies, though. Yeah. Even some, like, gang-related stuff. Yeah, movies. Those he's, are kinda he's, crazy. he's Italian gangster type, you know. But uh, it's rated R. I mean, I've seen Detroit on there, and we're a Detroit channel here in Video Game XD, so we had to pick it up. Yeah, I saw that movie. That's pretty good. Was it good? Yeah. For one dollar, Fear Inc. Making a killing one client at a time. So yeah, this looks pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, this is something she would probably pick up because mm-hmm. like she's more into the horror stuff. But the reason I picked it up because I looked on the back. The kid from frickin' Sandlot's in it. You're mm-hmm. killing me, Smalls. Uh, yeah. I'm like, bro, yeah. I have to get this. I uh, never thought he'd be in a horror movie. Oh, yeah, he's been in a couple, I think. Really? Yeah. And the guy from, um, the hell, Fanboys. I don't know if you guys ever seen Fanboys. But the dude from Fanboys is in it, and he's a good actor. So, one dollar. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, does it look cool to you? Yeah, or? I don't think. I think I'd enjoy it. Lucas Neff. Hmm. That doesn't sound familiar. I'm, ba- I'm bad with names, though. N-E-F-F. I'm better with looking at faces, like, oh, I've seen him, and you know. We have people related to us with that name. Yeah. Uh, Joe Pesci. Um, Love Joe Pesci. So do I. You know what's funny? Same birthday as me. Really? He's got the same birthday. That's February 9th. That's funny. So he's like an ancestor. And he's Italian. I'm Italian. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. And Joe Pesci's the shit. So like, how do you not like Maybe Joe he's Pesci? related and you don't know it. I don't know. <laughs> Eight heads in a duffel bag. So this was $1 at Dollar Tree. And I was shocked to see this. I'm like, no way. Because... I don't think I've ever seen this. I haven't watched the full thing. I only watched half. But I liked it. And uh, David Spade's actually in it. Oh, I like David Spade. He's pretty funny. Yeah, and anything with David Spade and Joe Pesci and stuff, I'm, I'm buying it. And then he got them together, even, so that's pretty cool. Well, I seen a commercial for it. I was watching an old WCW Nitro episode, and um, there was a commercial for this. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I never even heard of this. It has to do with murder. It's like a murder comedy type movie. So it came out in 97. And, uh, yeah. yeah it looks good. I think I seen that on Nitro. I think it was either a commercial or I don't know. <laughs> so okay, PlayStation got this for a dollar at Salvation Army. NBA Shootout 2001. <laughs> uh, that looks good. Never played it, but I was a fan of 989 Sports back in the day. I did like 989 Sports, and. Um, most most of the time I'd be playing wrestling games, so that's the thing. But I don't know. I feel like I still love wrestling. I just feel like everybody now is just uh, drama, drama, 
Jim Cornette, oh, we're going to complain for a half hour, 59.16 minutes, uh, you know, because, like, you know who Jim Cornette is? No. He's a guy who, like, rants about, like, wrestling, and, like, it's just kind of, like, people like him, though. I mean, he is, I thought he was hilarious the first time I seen him, and I'm just, like, I don't know, like, he got, he got really repetitive, but I don't know. Well, that's a different story. Today, we're talking about NBA, not Jim Cornette. But, uh, shootout 2001, I mean, got it for a dollar. I'm not going to complain. Uh, condition's okay. Yeah, looks good. Uh, for the PC, for one dollar. I think I got it for a dollar, right? I think so, yeah. The Sims, hot date. <laughs> yeah, I mean, back in the day, I used to play a lot of The Sims stuff. I did, did too. I played a bit of The Sims. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I loved the original. It's one of the first PC games I actually got into. I wanted to sit on a computer. I'd always try to start the house on fire because I thought yeah. that was funny watching them run around. <laughs> or, the, or the Grim Reaper come in and kill the family. <laughs> like, ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of fun stuff with those. It's crazy because now we're adults. We have real families in our life and we deal with We're something. doing the same thing. Oh. Um, yeah, we deal with a lot of this. <laughs> oh my god, their house is on fire. <laughs> but, um... It's an expansion, so you have to have the original Sims to play this. But uh, as long as you... And I have the original Sims, and I got a Windows XP computer from my boy Jalen. Yeah. Thank you, Jalen. That's uh, that's awesome, because uh, Windows 10, I mean, you can't even play the old stuff. No, you really can't. And not it that... not read it. And... I'm not a big fan of Windows 10. Like, I bought... I love my computer, I do, but I don't know. I feel like there's pop-ups every two seconds. I had a hard time understanding 10 myself, so I yeah. get it. She got me my Windows 10 computer, though, so I don't care. I do. Even if it's crap, I still love it. <laughs> it's a good computer, though. It's just, yeah. It's not perfect. No. Um, N64. Uh, I got this at Media Reload. Check out Media Reload. Yeah. For $1.95, NFL quarterback, 98. Awesome. That looks good. So I think he got Brett Favre on the cover. He was amazing. Yeah, he was good. And um, I remember hearing a lot about Brett Favre. Mm-hmm. I was never a big fan of the Packers, though. Didn't just, his brother play, too, but for a different team? I don't know. I don't remember. I was never a fan of the Packers. I would call them the Cheeseheads, because I was a Lions. I'm, we're from Detroit. We don't like Packers here. Yeah, I still like the Lions, but I just wish they would play better. Yeah. Because they, they've lost their way. No, the they Lions constantly way. lose. That's why when people make fun of Detroit, like, oh, the Lions, how are them Lions doing? Once they lost Barry Sanders, man, it's just went downhill after that. Like, they were rocking back in the mm. 90s, and now it's like you can't get them to play one good fucking game. How are them Lions doing, Charles? I don't know. They're still <laughs> fucking losing. I agree with you. <laughs> but uh, two bucks. I love it, though. Two bucks. I Actually, I didn't know nothing about the quarterback games. I thought they were crappy acclaim games because acclaim did like mediocre stuff some some acclaim shit was good other claims shit su- you know sucked yeah but quarterback club is good i played it on the genesis i love nfl quarterback club so i'm gonna start collecting them all now because i have an addiction <laughs> so i got 98 for the n64 and why not pick up nfl quarterback 99 for 299 from disc replay awesome and i heard this is probably one of the best ones they did According to ratings on Google, I don't know if that means anything. Right. Probably not, but <laughs> uh, yeah. So That's I good. have to play those. Have to try them out. Now this I got for fourteen ninety nine a disc replay. Uh, Retro Bit Generations packed with over a hundred games. Yeah, this looks pretty cool too. We played a little bit of it. Hell yes! Did I show this off already? I can't. I even... Don't remember to be honest. I don't think you did. I'm going to tell you this right now. It's not perfect. The emulation is kind of... Like, I'm not going to lie. Out of all the little mini systems I own, emulation on this is probably the worst one I own. But, $15, how can you complain? Come on. Right, yeah, that's a good deal. Like, you're really going to complain over 100 I seen that laying on the shelf. I'm like, dude, is that 15 bucks? He's like, yeah. I didn't know anything about Retrobit. I just know a lot of people hate on at games. But I'll tell you this, people shouldn't hate on at games because this is actually lower quality emulation than at games. Yeah, it's this is not that good emulation wise. It's not. But it's packed over with 100 games. If you can find it for less than 20, 
definitely worth it. Maybe give it to a kid who doesn't know any better Christmas present or maybe someone who's not super picky. I'll tell you what, it comes with two controllers. That's cool. The, the cable length is great. I love the style of the system, red and black. Yeah. Looks cool. And it's got a bunch of games. It's got Super R-Type. It's got... Uh, hoops on there. I loved Hoops on the Nintendo. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which is my favorite. Yeah. Hard Ma as fuck, but I love it. Major Title Golf. That's a cool golf game. Like, it's got a bunch of stuff on here. You'd be like, wow, like, this is pretty cool for 20 bucks. Emulation's kind of shitty. Yeah. But, can't really complain. Yeah. I, I heard you can get an SD card, put ROMs on it, but I hear Genesis sucks on it. Super Nintendo is sped up. Nintendo, I heard, works fine on this, so you can make this a Nintendo machine if you want. Really? Yeah, every mm -hmm. Nintendo game. If you're into modding and all that, or you can play Game Boy on it, but I heard Genesis, terrible on it. Super Nintendo, eh. So the emulation, like I said, but I got it for 15 bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal. This is cool. Yeah, good deal. Got this at Walmart for 20 bucks. I've been looking for this for a while. This is a great find, yeah. Yes! And it's Halloween time perfect. The complete series, Adam's Family. Yes, I love Adam's Family. This is the old show. I think this came the out black in the and white version. 60s, I think, I want to say. 60s? 50s? Yeah, 70s, 50s, 60s. Yeah, I think 60s. Some people think this stuff is really campy. It's corny. Yeah. I can't get into it. Fuck you. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I like it. I always liked Adam's Family. I like how kooky and it's like goth, but it's like funny and but it's like dark. It's mm -hmm. like a mix of everything. It's almost a little disturbing sometimes. It's like what these people are crazy, <laughs> but they're funny and they're like I don't know. Like I just Adam's Family was awesome. Yeah, so was, Adam's Family was good. So was the Monsters. Yep, I loved them both. Whole series, 20 bucks, Walmart, pick it up. I watched a lot of TV series on uh, TV Land back when they had all that. Like, they had, you know, I Dream of Genie and I Love Lucy, and Adam's Family, The Munsters, all of that. I used to watch all of them. $4.99, uh, John Madden Football, 92 I think I got that at Disc Replay. So, this is one of the ones I did not own. Uh, I wanted to get all the Maddens, you know. I have Madden 93, I think 94, 95, 96, 98, 99. Like, I got most of the old ones, but uh, I think I was missing this one. I think this is, this might even, even have been the first Madden, I think. Don't quote me on that. But uh, this was probably before I had the NFL license, I think. So it's very bare, you know, bare bones. Right. But it is a classic. John Madden went on to do good things, so. Yeah. $1.99, I'm not going to complain. Uh, for six ninety five, Acclaim Sports, Sega Saturn. That's rare. NFL quarterback ninety six. So, like I said, I'm trying to get into the quarterback games. They're good. I like them. This is when Acclaim did some okay games. I ain't, I ain't talking about ECW game. <laughs> no, no, those games were ugh. ECW Hardcore Evolution. Yeah. The controls were bad, but it is complete. I mean. I don't have any of the quarterback games on the Saturn. I got a Saturn recently. Got to get my Saturn sports on. Yeah. So. How many more do I have? I'm going to say, what are you all got on a bus stick? They never ending I know, quantity it's a, coming out of there. It's a huge load edition. <laughs> all right. These I found for a dollar. That was it. Can't pass up dollar games. Uh, Bushwick. Pro Bowling. Now, we played this on the Wii. Great, great bowling game on the Wii. I think it was Brunswick. Brunswick, whatever. But I found it for <laughs> Xbox 360 for a dollar. You need the Connect. I don't have a Connect, but... You can find them cheap, though. Those yes, but they only work on the Slims. I don't oh. have a Slim. But I'm not going to pass up a bowling game for a dollar. Yeah, that's a good deal. Another dollar, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for the PS3. Yeah, that's a good one. I like Assassin's. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed were good. Wasn't the biggest fan, but they're good. Um, I just bought it because, I don't know, if anybody ever brings over a PS3 to my house, maybe they can. I just give this to them. I don't know. Right. And I found for a dollar, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That was not a bad game. No, I'm not, not a big fan of Call of Duty, but that one was pretty decent. 
very open uh, it's not open world but I, I think it's like uh, the maps were really big in this one I didn't care for how big the maps were but this one is beloved loved by a lot of people dollar not gonna not gonna complain I mean <laughs> these are CD grabs I usually don't pick up CDs anymore cuz I don't know I kind of retired CDs I kind of do sadly I'm a digital guy now with music and, uh, well it's nowadays so a lot of cars don't even have CD players in them. My car doesn't no. have one. I was pissed. I'm like, no. I don't really want this car if it doesn't have a CD I'm player. I'm not going to lie, though. Nowadays, it's easier. Spotify, you can find any band you ever want on Spotify. Any album. like. Oh, yeah. It's not like Netflix where you just get a selection. No, Spotify literally has, like, I'm not going to say everything, but they have, like, a lot. Yeah. Like, any band you can think of almost is on there, I feel like. And then there's Sirius XM. There's... I don't know. I really enjoy it. But CDs are still cool. I'm not hating on CDs. It's just I don't got the room for them anymore. I've, no, they look, take up a lot of space. Look at all that, you guys. Like, yeah. come on. I ain't got the That's room. That's just one side of the room. <laughs> I ain't got the room for CDs, but I got Pearl Jam. It's just called Pearl Jam 10, I think, or self-titled maybe. Bam, Pearl Jam. So if you don't know who Pearl Jam is, they did Even Flow Classic. They did... Um, once Alive, Why Go, Black, Jeremy, good song. And uh, there's a bunch of classics on here. They're like a chill band, Pearl Jam. Yeah. Early, mid-90s type band. I like Pearl Jam. They're all right. And why not pick up Green Day Dookie? It's funny, because I actually used to have that one when I was younger. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think Makes I it feel really old. <laughs> well, this did come out in, like, early 90s, I think. Yeah. Now, the main reason I bought this, I'm not a Green Day fan. I'll tell you right now. I think Green Day sucks. No. <laughs> what? Okay, that's not my... Ugh. But my favorite Green Day songs till this day was When I Come Around, because I love the video, I love the song, still love the song. There's a few other Green Day songs I like, like Warning, and there's a few other ones, but a lot of the music, I'm not going to lie, kind of annoys me. I, I know I'm not a big Green Day guy, but I, I, I don't hate Green Day, just... Some songs just, they're repetitive on the radio. I hear it too much. But uh, yeah, it had When I Come Around on it, so I picked it up. I'm not going to complain for a dollar. Right, that's a good deal. Uh, for $1.99, NFL quarterback for the Sega Genesis. So this is the original NFL quarterback, the first one they ever did. Yeah, some people think sports games suck. They're shovelware, they're garbage. Not to me, because I like them. Especially the old ones. The new ones are kind of crap like new sports games uh, take yeah. them or leave them the old ones are, are worth having these were fun and I didn't even know this was on the Sega Genesis I recently got this on the Saturn now it's like a beta version of Walleye Country Club on the N64 and I had no idea that game existed on the Saturn and it was called Pebble Beach Golf Links now this is also on the, the Genesis and Super Nintendo Pebble Beach Golf Links. So this is like a 16-bit version of the Saturn game. Gotcha. Made from TNE Soft. I had no clue these existed. I'm still blown away. Like, holy shit. Right. <laughs> because that game on N64 was like my favorite golf game ever freaking made. So to find out there's a Saturn version of that game, to find out this was on Sega Genesis, and this is like a 16-old-bit version of that game. Right. I had no idea the history of these games. I didn't. And I do like my golf games. So, uh, yeah, I had to get it on the Genesis. And I looked up gameplay. It looks awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I'll try it out. All right. I think that's all of our pickups, you guys. Yeah. I think I might have one more. It was NHL something for the Saturn. I don't feel like showing it off, so it's just buried. <laughs> but I needed that game. I think it was NHL All-Stars or something, 98. Heard that was one of the best games on the Saturn, so I picked that up. I only got it for like 10 bucks on eBay. Yeah, that's a good deal. And it goes for like 20 I have to get my NHL game done. Yep. But anyways, this is Video Game XD. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch. Like us on Facebook, you know the rest. And the giveaway is coming. Don't worry, I'm adding more stuff. I know I keep freaking saying that, but I'm going to ship it out. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. There's more stuff added, so you can't you can't complain, you guys. I'm adding more stuff. Right. This is Video Game XD. I'm Charles Reed. Jennifer. See ya. Game.